Immediately after Austin voters gave the green light to a $720 million mobility bond, city staff members knew it was time to get to work. KXN's Kylie McGivern joins us on South Lamar, one of the corridors named in that bond after speaking with a man turning the plan into action. After voters strongly approved the mobility bond, one question came to mind, what now? A memo addressed to the mayor and city council members aimed to address that very question, outlining where we go now that the largest transportation bond passed that this city has ever seen. It begins with a $482 million chunk for corridor improvement projects. City staff expects the contract for a consultant on those to go to council for consideration in February. At that time, council will also discuss recommendations for oversight and communications to pull in public input as this massive project moves forward. We sat down with Capital Planning Officer Mike Trimble, responsible for the bond startup activities. Um, we do not have where we're going to start work first. We need to do that analysis. Council was very deliberate um, in the resolution they passed that they wanted us to do that analysis, see what the most appropriate, the best mix of projects um, to be done should be. And so we'll be doing that analysis over the next several months. Tonight at 9 and 10, we'll have more on the pressure city staff now feels to see the $720 million bond through and uphold the promise to voters that this will alleviate congestion. In South Austin, Kylie McGivern, KXCN News.